They urge their fans to vote. Some campaign for their family members who are contesting, but on election day, many Bollywood celebrities gave the polls a miss, instead choosing to attend an awards function in Florida. Well, even celebrities like Vivek Oberoi and Anupam Kher, who endorsed Narendra Modi as the prime ministerial candidate, have now chosen to miss the ballot. The nation is passing through an extremely difficult and challenging situation. The grave crisis of leadership is for everybody to see. Shri Narendra Modi ji has proved his ability to give good governance and ensure all-round development of all sections of society. On this backdrop, we, all of us present here, wholeheartedly endorse the candidature of Shri Narendra Modi for the Prime Ministership of India. We appeal to all voters to support Shri Narendra Modi ji and vote a well, Megha Prasad is joining us. Uh, Megha, now take us through the poll percentage in your area. Mumbai traditionally has not voted out in large numbers. Today, of course, it's a dismal performance as far as Mumbaikars are concerned. Well, in fact, I have the data with me right now. And I can tell you, well, yes, you, you're right. You're very right when you say a very dismal performance, especially South Mumbai, the constituency that I've been reporting on uh, from since morning it has you know by this time the uh, the data that we have of one o'clock mumbai south is just 22.3 percent and that's very very disappointing but then the other problem in south mumbai and i guess it's not only south mumbai it's uh, it's a lot of other places in central mumbai south central mumbai as well where the problem of uh, people finding their names vanished deleted from the database then that seems to be you know happening at just about every polling station because we've been reporting from South Mumbai and we've found not only common people but big personalities right like Ram Jait Malani, Deepak Parikh not finding their name in the voter list and we have in fact I'm reporting to you from uh, from polling booth close to from, uh, from polling booth where 500 people uh, you know just an hour back were in fact were creating some sort of a ruckus here at the polling station because 500 of them did not find their names on the voter list in fact the, the returning officer here and the polling agent told those people in private that there's something very wrong with their database they say that even though you have the voter card we don't find your name on the voter list so the names have been deleted here and they do not really know where the problem is at least 35 percent of the people who've turned out at the voting stations have been turned away these are unofficial figures that are coming from the collectorate we are waiting for them to make a formal announcement as to where and what the problem is and why why this has happened. In fact, Mr. Jait Malani went to the extent of saying that he finds this uh, this action seems to be deliberate to him and that something is really fishy and uh, that, uh, you know, that it just is not possible with so many people are not finding their names on the voter list even when they, are, they have the voter IDs, they have voted in the last elections and all the papers are in place despite the fact that it seems that their names have just been deleted from the electoral rolls. So that's the main problem that's happening in Wadala in South Mumbai, in Khar, in various areas uh, of South Central Mumbai and South Mumbai, we probably uh, these problems. So that is going to be a contributing factor to the low turnout in Mumbai, but the numbers not promising at all. In one o'clock, we've seen uh, polling of just about 22.1% in Mumbai.